right, guys, Survival Islanders back in with another video. Don't forget to join our Discord and Roblox group. Links for those will be in the description. So, for this, uh, we were people were asking us to um, re-update one of our old videos, and that video uh, for scripting was the key door. So you want to use a key to unlock a door for horror games such as what I have been developing right now. So, in most games, you get a key, so I just, one's right here. So, I have like text and stuff. It's a work in progress, but anyways, so you take the key when you have it. And you go and use it on the door that you that needs to be unlocked. So I have key one, so I'm going to have to go ahead and take my key one. This would be the door that needs to unlock, so then I'm just going to go ahead, put it, take it out and do that. Okay, so you can see that now it unlocked the door, so I'm going to go ahead and re-update and show you guys how to do that. Okay, so I have the door that I'm going to use here, and so I'm just going to start out by inserting two scripts within, to, within the lock that I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert script there, insert another one, and then I'm going to insert a string value. Now I'm going to call this string value tool required. This will then have the door require a specific tool to be able to unlock it. So then I'm just going to call that key and using Roman numerals to represent one is the capital I. So for the first script, I'll call it play because I want it to play the sound of it being locked. For the second one, I will call it door to represent the, act, the the script of the door itself. So we'll start with play to make it, you know, it's very, very simple. And I will, you can, like, I, I'm just going to provide the sound since they're universal. Everybody has them, so it doesn't really matter. So for the very simple, for the, for the lock sound there, I'm going to call part equals script dot parent sound is equal to part dot sound the function on clicked then sound play end then right after the end script dot parent because we want it to be uh, a proximity prompt. A proximity prompt is if you've ever seen the door, you need to like hold a key, press E or something to open it, like in jailbreak or something. That's what we're going with. The little message that pops up. So then, so dot proximity, proximity prompt. Dot triggered. Connect. On clicked. So now, if I just hit play, when I go over to the door, it will now be locked. It'll make the sound. So next up, we're going to go into the door itself. I have a key within this, so get your own key, do whatever you want. I'll, and one will be providing this model uh, if you don't want this one. But make sure it is the same name exactly as you have put in here. Okay, so for the door, we're going to go starting off with active will be equal to true. That is representing if the door is able to be used or not at that exact time. So function untouched. Oh, type that wrong. Untouched hit. So representing anything that hits it. So if active is equal to true then oh just need a space then if hit dot parent dot name is equal to script dot parent dot tool required dot value so now it's saying okay what hit this thing what hit my what hit the door if 
it is what to what two required is saying. So if it's saying if it's key one, then it's gonna work. If not, nothing else, nothing, nothing's opening it. Might as well just get something else. Okay. So if that's the case, then active equal false if it is key one or not. Script parent unlock play. So now we want the unlock sound to play because now it is working and I have mistyped. There. Next script dot parent dot parent door dot door a. So th at this point door a is the door that's closed. So we want to just get rid of it. It's no longer needed because now the door is being opened. So I want that to be destroyed. Next, I want the, um, because the door itself is not like the full thing and it would look really dumb if I didn't do it like this because of how I designed the door. So I'm just going to get rid of, I'm going to copy and paste and just go down to knob because that's um, right here if you, this, this part. So get rid of the knob, destroy that. Then I'm going to get rid of the interactive parts. So now you can't see them anymore. The interactive parts would be the ones um, that are also doing the proximity prompt. So interactive, and then just copy and paste again. Interactive two. And then after that, script. dot parent dot parent dot lock well then then we want it to be anchored is equal to false so it's just gonna fall through and it's on it's it's non collidable so it's just gonna fall through the map then end 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 and then finally script dot parent Got touched. Connect. Untouched. Okay. So we have that now. So now the door and this everything else will play, but there's one thing that's missing, and that would be to script the key. So now we're gonna do that part so you can actually get the key. So within the key here, I uh, just you need a click detector just to be able to activate it, so that'll already be provided. But now I'm going to insert another script. I'm not even going to name it. doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off. Local tool equal to game dot server storage. And with spaces, it's a little weird of how they get its like um, directory in the game. So you got to use brackets and then this. So if you have a space in something... As you can see there, it's going to want to do it like that. You can't just do dot, key, space, I. So, it's a little weird. So, local clone. I'm just going to call it clone. Equals tool clone. Then, script dot parent dot click detector. Dot mouse click. Connect. Then we want parentheses function. And just to abbreviate it, hold on, I got one too many here. PLR for player. Next, if clone.parent is approximately equal to player so plr dot backpack then clone dot parent is equal to plr dot backpack so just to clarify this means that this little symbol you hear see here it's it's like right beside the one on your keys so like a, you know if you've ever bothered to know what that symbol is so I have one too many ends here. I don't need you. That I, I need else. And then end. And then there we go. So now, 
we're going to test the whole thing and you'll see that I'll be able to do the door. So I have my key, it unlocked, and now I can walk through. And that's really all there is to it. So if you got any questions, comments, concerns, this doesn't work out for you, please let us know in the comments below. Um, just odds are, if it doesn't work out for you, uh, you, you might be doing something wrong. I mean, if you're scripting this yourself, I mean, the model will be provided with it fully functioning. So if that doesn't work, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but it should work. So yeah, questions, comments, concerns, please put us down in the comments below. If you want to see us script anything else that you're having trouble with or have never seen or want, uh, we can attempt to do that, so let us know. And we will see you all again in our next post of videos.